Well, with half the world shut down, seems like as good as time as any to get some work done on the old Falcon. Got one shocky to do, because I did the other one on the near side months ago to get it through Rego, and now I'm finally going to do the one on this side. First things first, get into the top of this shock tower. if I recall correctly, behind this here carpet. And that's filthy, so I might get me vacuum cleaner in there and clean that on up. Let's crack some nuts. There we go. Voila. Oh yeah, that's rooted. Whew. Well, let's get the wheel off. See if our jack repair has worked. Yeah, this bolt's a little bit of a pain to get to, but it's not too bad. Hmm. That was much easier than the other one. You can see it's pretty bloody wobbly. Just gotta gently tap this bolt out.
easy. Well, that's out. Decidedly more filthy than the one off the other side. And... Yeah, shock absorber shouldn't do that. Which is it pretty good aside from this bump stop and... Bolt's not too bad. A bit of grime on it, but that'll clean off with a bit of a wire wheel. So let's compare it to our new one. Here's an interesting thing you can see with these. If I just... Pull these off, you can see that the bushes are quite different sizes. When I was talking to the bloke down at Napa, we managed to work out that these aren't the proper shocks for that Falcon, because they don't fit any Falcon parts. I don't know what they're off because I, I looked up, tried looking up the number off that, but it doesn't go anywhere apparently. But these ones fit, these ones work, so chuck that one in, clean that up, button it all up and it'll be good. Okay, just going to jack this axle up to send the pointy bit of the shock up into the shock tower. Thank you. 
And it's a new day, so first order of business for me has been getting this steering wheel centre out. Because the horn buttons in it have... The, the insulation there is broken down so the horn would stick on. I bypassed it sort of a little while earlier, but I sort of wanted to get in here so I could actually trace the wires for the horn switch back down under the steering column so I could properly bypass it. Because I'm too cheap to buy a new steering wheel centre and I don't really feel like going anywhere anyway at the moment. And also, I want the cruise control! I don't have any cruise control! And apparently with these cars, cruise control goes through everything, so even... You don't even have to have a tail light out, you can just have a tail light decide that it's sort of not properly in there and that's enough to knock the cruise control out, so... Hopefully by bypassing this horn and getting it all working properly again, I'll be one step closer to having cruise control. So getting the steering wheel centre out's a pain because it uses these stupid pentalobed Torx bits which are not easy to come by and I didn't feel like shelling out 30 bucks for a single driver that I'm going to use once so I was able to get in there with um, my little Dremel tool with a worn down wheel and that was enough to get in sort of just inside that little plastic housing without actually taking any of it off and I was able to cut a slot in there get a flathead in and just Twist them out. And they're just a standard 6mm bolt, so I don't have any, couldn't find any in my stash with the, the right match, so I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna do things properly and just, just carving some slots into them to turn them into proper flathead screws. That'll do nicely. I'll eventually get some Allen key bolts in there to um, snip it up properly, but for now that'll do. And there's my super fantastic horn switch. Ooh, quick, quick, everyone come check this out. It's working. I don't think it'll actually, don't know if it'll actually work here because I've still got a bulb missing in the back, but ah, it turns on, turns off, turns on again. Ooh, this is exciting. So just by bypassing that clock spring and going back to using the regular horn circuit, I've got my cruise control back, I think. I'm part way there. Woo! Well, a few last notes before I finish up here today. This corner was previously held in by a single wood screw, which is super secure, so I just belted that bracket back into place and a few fresh bolts in there, and I don't think that's going to go anywhere, so cool with that. Another neat thing that happened was now, um, I don't know why, but I noticed a while back that my aerial was down after I pulled it up. And yeah, it's just decided to start working again, so that's really cool. Good Falcon. And this is one of my favourite ones, so all the clips on this are broken and I'm cheap and didn't want to buy a new one, so... Just installed some magnets in it. Araldite, some old scraps of foam I had lying around and some magnets that I pulled out of some toy or something and they just clip up onto those uh, rivets up there. Perfect. And as a final note, tape deck works, yeah. Well, that'll do it for today. I'll see you all next time. Cheers.